Expedition. It's the, the model is the 38S. This is probably one of the best deals we have right now um, over here at RVs of America. This is a super, super clean unit. Um, right now it's not spick and span where it's, it's about 10 degrees today and we were trying to wash it off and it kept on freezing. So it's a little, it's a little dusty and or dirty and we need to wash it down once it warms up. But other than, you know, just that, this thing is an excellent, excellent condition. I'll, I'll point out some things to you um, as we're going through this video. Little, little, if, if there's a few little things, but not very much. And I'll point those out to you as we're going through. But once again, this is the 38S. It has a 360 um, horsepower Cummins. It's a diesel, sits on the diesel. So it's the diesel pusher, di diesel motors in the back. Um, over here we have electric awnings. This is, these, these are super cool. Here you got all the keys. You have lock, door lock, entry door locks, lock, unlock. You also have your awnings over here. You have the main patio awning. This comes out with the slide, which is nice. So when the slide's out, you have that. Um, this is perfect for tailgating during football season, right? Over here. You have a nice little entertainment TV center. Um, this has the, this also has the satellite dish, um, the wind, wine guard on the top. Yeah, the stereo have, have nice speakers out here. You also over, look over the door here, you have another awning that's electric that comes out too, which is super cool. It all works with this remote, which is super nice. Um, you're, you got about a hundred gallon fresh water tank, hundred gallon fuel tanks. These are, this has the dual fuel. So you have a fuel on passenger side or the driver's side. So if you're ever traveling cross country, you stop, you always go to like the big semi truck spots and you can go in and fill it up, fill it up from both sides for fast fueling. This is another feature that I really love about this RV um, is a lot of some of the older RVs, the doors would come up. So you have to crawl under the door or you're hitting your head. These have the side hinge doors. So you go out like this, super easy access. You're not going to be smacking your head on something right here. You also have a, a quick release um, for propane down here. So you can put your barbecue or like I said, perfect for tailgating, camping, whatever you want to do actually. to the 
to see these bolts. Like, I don't know if you can see, make out these bolts, how shiny those are. If you look down at the engine down here and you can see the filters, the red and the orange. I mean, this thing is, there's not a speck of rust. I mean, a little dusty. I mean, what do you expect when you're driving down the road? <laughs> it's gonna get dusty. Come up here to, up towards the top where you can see the engine, this red engine. It's just, it's it's unbelievably clean. There's not, not a leak, not a drop of oil or anything. This thing is just, it's, the, the undercarriage of this thing is um, I, I'm surprised at how clean it is just from driving it, you know? Come down here, you have a 10,000 pound hitch. Um, once again, I, like I said, 360 horsepower. You have the nice um, rock guard down there. It's an expedition. And this has the fiberglass front and end caps. Um, it's a full body paint. Has two furnaces, two AC units, all central air or central furnace. Here you have your battery compartment. We're kind of on the darker side, so I'm gonna go faster. It's cold up here. You have the four batteries, the house. No, this one has six house batteries because it has a residential fridge. I'll show you inside when we get in there. Has the two diesel starter batteries, brand new batteries. We just put the starters in. Um, we'll, we'll have brand new house batteries when it sells. Tires are in good shape. They're a little bit older, but there's, there's no cracking or anything on them. They have plenty of tread. Over here, come to here, you can see we got the water station. And this is actually heated. It's freezing. It's probably below zero right now up here. And if I put my hand in here, it's nice and toasty. Um, here you have the, your water station. You have your bypasses, your fill. It has a Santa flush. So when you, you know, that goes into the black tank, the toilet, and it cleans it out better. It has an outside little shower here. You have, the, your, you have a water pump and you have a light down here. So if you're somewhere in the dark and you can't see as much, so super nice. These side doors. It's unbelievable. It's because think about it. I mean, I'm young, you know, if you're not, if you're not as young as me, like this is where the door would be. It'd be right here and it'd come all the way out to here. You'd be having to crawl and get under here to get to your sewer. It's, it's, these are the types of attention to detail that you want in a coach. Um, come over here. This is just access to the other side of that big storage area. This is access to the other side of that tray that comes out. Um, you forever <laughs> a year probably i mean unless you're living in alaska and running the heat constantly um but that's going to use the heat the water um but that's the main thing now get under here i want to look at these shots look how clean this is it might be hard to get under here but you can get under here This 
thing is spotless. Like this, you look at it, there's no rust. This is an 8,000 watt Cummins um, Onan diesel generator. So I mean, that, that that's plenty of power. You're not gonna have any problem with that. Um, but yeah, here you got, you've got your air horns up here. You got a light in here. So if you ever need light for any reason at night, you got a quick release um, air hose right there. Um, so if you ever need to connect it to the air system, quick to pump up tires, check your tire pressure. Anyways, super, super clean, super nice coach. Nothing wrong with it. So um, we're gonna get out of this freezing zero degree weather and head inside and give you uh, an inside tour. Hey, now this is the way to travel in style. You, you know, people, they, nowadays flying, so in, you know, everybody wants to fly and, and hopefully someday you can fly on first class or business, but man, I'll tell you what, this beats business, first class, any airplane, any day, every day, all the time. Anyway, so let me, let me give you the inside tour now. This is the, this has a nice little footrest, as you can see, these, and that's electric, which is super nice. And if you want to come out and relax and hang out with everybody, then you can swivel it around. And this is electric, you move it and adjust it to your liking. And then over here, this, this, this guy over here also turns and swivels and turns around. So this entire area, let me show you, actually come over this way and let me show you the whole thing. This is the, this is the inside. Here we are inside the 2013 Fleetwood Expedition Coach. It's got a nice sectional system here. Over here, you also have nice recliners. These actually both recline up. Um, you have dual TVs. Over here, you got a straight across from this state, this uh, theater seating with your cups and your TV right over there. Take a look at the TV. And then one of the really cool things about this TV up here is you can watch, you can both watch the same thing or if you want, you can tune it to two different things. So somebody can be watching, you know, if you're at a campground or you're somewhere where you got t television or cable or satellite, you can, you can run something up here or you can run a different thing in here or outside. So like I said earlier, if you're into tailgating, this is like the ultimate tailgating experience. Now come over here at the driver's seat. I want to show you, point out some things. Just little, little attention to detail that this Fleetwood does. First of all, you do have the tilt wheel and it telescopes too. So you can really adjust it to where you, where you want it to be. You also have electric seats down here everything works great um right here you're going to have your usb your jacks in there you also have usb jacks into this thing this is a radio system this is this is set up to uh do bluetooth for your phone you have pandora it's also set up where you could um have sirius xm radio satellite radio um, over here you have your cameras. One of the things that I didn't point out earlier, this has the, the mirrors um, have actual s cameras on the side here. You can see that it changes when you turn on your blinker. So you have the side cameras that are in the mirror, which is really nice. Now over here, this is super cool. People are always saying, well, how am I gonna remember to do everything that there is to do on an RV? This, they build these into the Fleetwood. So you right here, you have your pre-trip checklist. You jacks up, and then over here you have your button right here. When you're when you got it done, you go check, and then you got your check mark. Check tow vehicle. So if you're towing something behind you, you check it. Check check your tire pressure, your engine maintenance. Check your you know oil levels. Those are things that you should always are your antennas down, disconnect power. But anyways, water, sewer, bay bay doors closed. You know that's something some people don't forget to go out there and check. Make sure they're locked, sh um, shower door locked in the back. Make sure the shower doesn't fly open. Roof vents closed, awning arms locked, countertop clear, all doors locked. And, you know, it's just kind of kind of a cool thing. You know, it's not, you could just go through them all if you don't want to. 
watch them and then just go and uh, start driving. But over here you have all of your instrument gauges here. You got your power, ma power mirrors, um, heated mirrors. This is the, now this is one of the best things about these motorhomes, not my water, right here. The Allison transmission. This is the, this is a six speed Allison transmission. You just press, you have a, you have an econ mode, fuel economy mode here. Reverse neutral drive, if you wanna manually gear shift this, you can. But the six speed Allison transmission with the 360 horsepower, I mean, they're, you know, the Cummins, <laughs> you know, you can't beat Cummins and you can't beat Allison really. So it's a great, great setup over here. Over here you have your utility lights. This actually turns on your lights up in the compartments outside. You have an auxiliary start, so in case you know you lost for whatever reason, left the something on the lights, the headlights on, forgot to turn them off, and your engine died, you can actually use this button, and it takes from the house batteries, and it will start the engine. Um, those are your flashers. You got your fans. You have these fans, extra fans up here for a hot summer. You know, it's because this windshield, you know, it's huge in the middle of the summer. If you're down in Arizona or Vegas, that heat will light blaring through that huge window. It's gonna get hot. Now, another thing that I want to point out is these are actually dual pane windows and people don't realize like a lot of people say, oh, lots of these things have dual pane windows. That is not true. You typically have to get into a higher end motor coach or very high end fifth wheel to get dual pane windows. You know, people talk about, oh, Montana's are the best winter package. Most Montana's don't even have dual pane windows. So that that is an extra feature to add on to these things. Um, but yeah, this is, I mean, everything in here is pretty simple. Here you also have these visors, which is super nice. Look up at the window. And I like how they actually staggered these. Because if you've been in some coaches, they'll put two. But they're usually, they usually don't stagger them. Where the, See, they put the, the big one in front of this little one. So there's always like a huge gap. So this is nice. It really actually covers the entire windshield. And then if you want to, if you're out camping, you want more privacy, you just put this curtain. You just unlatch this and this goes all the way around the entire thing, even behind the blinds. But those are super nice when you're just driving down the road. If it's just you and you just want the sun out of your, your eyes, you just use this driver's side one. But it's really cool how they stagger that. Those are, those are just like those little, the little details. If, if you don't understand what I'm saying, See how they staggered this one that kind of goes behind this one? <coughs> Excuse me. I've seen a lot of times where they'll just have one this wide here, and then they'll have another one right here, and then there's a huge gap. And the sun shines through right that gap and hits you. So nice little attention to detail. Um, so let's let's move let's move to the back area and I'll show you more. Got my water here. Um, so you have the Corian countertops, um, the solid surface. This is the wood cabinet doors, which is super nice. Um, this is a 46 inch Bravia Sony TV. You know, they're nicer TVs that they have. This is super cool. You have a button that goes down and behind there you have a window and that goes all the way down and comes almost flush with this. So you can use the countertop if you want. Um, this table also comes out, this extends, I think it might be locked right now, but this extends out to about right here, and then you can put in four chairs to have more guests. You also have some hookups here, if you wanted to hook up like, you know, if you got kids or grandkids and you want to hook up a gaming console or computer or, you know, or DVD player, another one or something, um, you could do that. The the surround sound system has speakers all throughout. Up in here, there's speakers. Back over here underneath the cabinets in the stadium seating. Under here, there's speakers, more speakers back over there. And these are both recliners. I believe this is a recliner too. Yep, this, even this one's a big recliner. So everybody gets to relax. Nobody, nobody's gonna complain about not getting the recliner seat. You have here, 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 there, and then even the passenger seat over there has that electric hook liner that you saw at first. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight seats in here that people can hang out. You know, whatever you're doing, if you're having a 
a party night, game night, or? I, I do the Super Bowl every year. Maybe instead of my house, we should all do it here. It looks like this is a better setup, right? Um, over here, you have nice, nice fixtures that come out. Have that too, the sprayer. Um, you have the convection oven. This is a, this is a microwave oven, so it also it cooks like an actual like a regular microwave, but you can change the temperature and you can bake stuff in here. So you can actually like bake cookies or bread, and, and they work really well. I've used them. I have one in my own personal residence, my own house, and I use it all the time. So uh, over here you have this nice backsplash. Those are those are the touches. Those are the attention to detail. Sometimes you don't get that in cheaper motorhomes. Uh, and so this, you know, this wallpaper over time gets splashed on and you can't clean it up and it just, it ends up peeling off the wall. Over here, I want to point out one other thing. Sorry, I'm going back and forth. <coughs> this does have the dual shades. You have the, the daytime sun shades and then you have the nighttime blackout shades for extra privacy and make it nice and dark in here. Moving on into, I mean, uh, this has three slides. I don't even think I mentioned that this has three slides. As you can see, this whole wall over to, to this side where the chair is and everything, this is an entire slide. And now just go all the way around and you'll notice from the driver's seat all the way to the very back of the RV is another slide. So they'll call this like a full wall slide or a super slide, whatever you want to call it but it almost goes the entire length of the RV. It's huge. It makes this place open up so much. Down over here, you have your central vac. You have your, your hose where you hook up into there. And the hose is in the actual shower. There's actually a, there's actually a hose back in the closet area. If you need to see that a little bit better. Got some light. There you can see the central hose. Nice thing that they got light switches. Everything works off of light switches, which is really nice. That's, that's quality, high end. It's not just these cheap, you know, where you're clicking on the lights, the ceiling. And then you have the padded ceiling, which gives you, gives you a little bit of better R value. There's two AC units. It's all central air. It's all ducted. Another thing is, if you notice, there, you don't actually see the unit on the ceiling anywhere because you have, you have cold intakes and air tanks on the vents. If you look, actually, you can see it better over here. Most RVs, you'll notice there's a big nasty ugly looking unit sitting on the on the roof here back up if you see these you have separate units you have cold and the cold the intake and the out so you have it's just built up into the ceiling which makes it a lot quieter and it's just a lot nice it's a nicer it's a more high-end thing that the nicer coaches do another thing that I love is these residential fridges and freezers. These are so, so much nicer than the RVs, the, the typical standard propane ones. I mean, the propanes are nice because they run off of propane. This one, you need more batteries, which it has six. It has a, it has a 2000 watt inverter, so there's no problem. It has a generator and it has an auto gen on the generator. So if the batteries get too low, you just press, you turn on the auto gen and it automatically turns it on. So it, they'll never die. But the fridge is so much deeper, so much more space. I mean, this, this is fridge is probably has more space in it than most luxury double door fridges that are propane. Um, so super, super nice. Over here you have really nice cabinets, very deep, and they have that full extension too, so you don't waste any space all the way in the back. You can actually pull it all the way out, and you can actually have space all the way. Um, one of the really nice features, I say to people, might save your marriage, or you just your sanity, whatever you want to call it. But this has two bathrooms, his and hers. This one's a small one, so most likely this is the his. Um, but you not you actually have the toilet here, or just guests, you know. Uh, joking aside, it's nice for guests. You got your light switches in here. You got your ceiling fans. Um, nice toilet down here, porcelain toilet. This also has the the flooring is really nice in here, porcelain flooring, which is super. Super nice flooring all throughout, which is nice if, if you have animals, um, you know, you don't get the fur everywhere and it doesn't make a mess, or even kids, if you have kids, kids can be animals, so wild anyway. Um, got nice vanities here, little towel racks. These are the types of things that I'm so surprised you'll get into a brand new RV and they won't even have top towel racks. 
It's like, where do you put your towels? Like, where do you hang towels to dry your hands? It's kind of crazy and absurd when, you, when you're when you looking. If you look at a lot of RVs, you'll notice silly things like that. Here you have my favorite thing, king size bed. My wife wouldn't have it any other way. Super nice, goes out in the slide. You also have, this is, I believe it was a 36 inch Sony Bra Bravia TV also. Um, this is this is also really nice. These are actually wardrobes for hanging, <coughs> but they're actually super deep. They go way back, which is nice, and you have lights in there. Another attention to detail. A lot of closets, you'll notice they won't even have lights. Um, over here too, you actually have a another one, and it goes it goes all the way back into here. It's really deep, um, and for the the long stuff, you have this one right here, which you can hang up. You know, if you have like dresses that go all the way down to the bottom. So lots, lots of things, lots of, lots of storage down through here too, which is super nice. Drawers here. These are for like shoes. You want to do your shoe rack here. Um, same with over in here. You got more shoes, drawers for clothing. You have extra storage in there. I mean, this, they, they really, they really thought, th thought through this on the storage aspect. Um, now, the master bathroom. Super, super cool. Um, you have a full walk-in shower with a seat. Um, for those who shave, we want to sit down. Now, just to give you an idea, let me step in here really quick. I am about 260 pounds and six feet. Very comfortable in here. I mean, I got, I got plenty of space. I don't feel like I'm claustrophobic or anything. I got tons of head space in here. Um, lots of space in here. So very comfortable. I mean, I could probably, probably put two people in there, two small people, maybe not two of me, but <clears throat> if you're not as big as me, I'm sure you could fit two people in there. And this is the stackable washer and dryer. Super nice. You can be washing and drying at the same time. You can put way more in these units. You know, the two in one units that everybody complains about that you can't really get a lot done in them is true this is super nice once again look at this just shower i mean these are just it's just i know it's simple but it's nice and, and you just think when they're when they got attention to detail to stuff like that they're going to have more attention to detail on other things you have nice porcelain porcelain sinks um lots of lots of space this is super deep i don't know if you notice that can see that that goes in pretty deep so you actually have a deep deep cover there um back there you have some extra space down here has some storage this thing is super clean too i'm like as i'm just going through it you got a nice nice porcelain toilet here and these are super nice these are the these are the the flush the push button flush so really really nice units another little rack up here to hang stuff but um come back up here with me i i mean just Kind of get an idea very spacious this 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 rv has got a little extra cutting board here i mean a pretty good kitchen space i mean if you're if you're looking at full timing travel in the country i mean this this you would you go in style and and really comfort i mean this is a beautiful beautiful coach i i was just last night i was online doing a bunch of research because we just got this to and we're making an ad on it today. So I wanted to kind of be informed and I wanted to see what else was out there. And I could not find another one for under 229,000. And we got our price less than that, which makes it the best deal in the entire country. Um, I saw a few websites that had identical models, but they said they were sold and they sold for like 155. Um, brand new, you're looking at over a quarter of a million dollar coach. Really, really nice motor coach. Um, yeah, I, I think anybody that owned this would love it and have some good, make some good memories in this thing. But if you if you have any questions, just give me a call, uh, or you know you can text me, call us, send us an email, 801-860-0035, or just shoot us an email or something, and we'll get back with you as soon as possible. But hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I know it's been long, but when there's a lot of good things in an RV, you got to point them all out fantastic fans too in here so um, that's another thing so 
thank you so much. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day and happy new year.